okay there is a wiring normally there is a wiring but if you can see this wire this wire white color the number of this wire is 919 this is the normally shut down wire of this ECM this is a normally shut down uh, ground the uh, shut down okay and the other one why this wire is damaged I, I cut it also because when I cut this wire hello everyone yeah assalamualaikum good morning good afternoon anywhere in the world I hope that everyone will uh, always following on my channel for uh, more tutorial videos regarding about the troubleshooting of caterpillar machine so for everyone always watching on my channel thank you for watching thank you very much to all of you now I would like to share for anyone uh, always looking my video so this is a uh, very simple if you don't uh, if you understand what to do but if you don't know what to do it is not easy okay about the problem of this machine is not starting okay you know what happened we're going to see the top uh, so it's easy for me to find it out where is the problem exactly so we have here in uh, my laptop it's not clear oh, yeah now it's a little bit clear so based on the problem i found so many fuse damage i don't know how they damage it but uh, i already replaced it see a foot marking in the fuse this is the fuse of engine ecm so i found when i put my computer so I couldn't see the engine ECM so I go directly here just to check the fuse so I found out that the fuse is damaged they just only put 5 ampere uh, yeah this is the fuse see this is the fuse I found it is a 5 ampere fuse so normally the fuse we are, that we are using in this uh, ECM is 10 ampere okay it is number 22 see this number 22 is 15 ampere sorry so now i already fixed uh, 15 ampere so that's the uh, fuse okay so my computer is reading the ecm and then the while the fuse is already connected or uh, the ecm is already working it shows this is a remote shutdown as you can see that remote shutdown there is a two wire connected to the ECM that if the engine or uh, the machine you need to shut it down suddenly in uh, in case of emergency so you just only turn it off the switch or uh, sh switch off position but even I do that switch in a up in a low, oh, low, low position just to keep the position of shutdown will be normally in often but still the engine is remote shutdown input so this is the secret or if you, anyone we do not know this I will show you what I do just short video yes, only I'd like to share for some electrician or a mechanical mechanic that going to do the shortcut way harness socket of the ECM see that okay there is a wiring normally there is a wiring but if you can see this wire this wire white color the number of this wire is 919 this is the normally shut down wire of this ECM this is a normally shut down uh, ground the uh, shut down okay and the other one why this wire is damaged I, I cut it also 
because when I cut this wire just for a shortcut way because I right. there just for a shortcut way because I don't have much time to troubleshoot okay it's still on the monitor showing shutdown engine shutdown so uh, they uh, disable the injector to function it so when I cut this wire but it's still in shutdown okay but there is another wire also it's a part of a shutdown emergency shutdown it is a blue uh, violet wire or purple the number of this wire is 918 918 so based on the diagram or uh, the ECM uh, line, this wire is normally closed. Ah, uh, normally open. Sorry, normally open. Okay, it's either the contact of this wire is uh, shorted to the ground. So when I cut it, suddenly the engine is showing normally, and I can start it. Okay, just a second. I will try actual. Now the wire is open. I will try. Okay, in this video, just to show you that uh, must be in a normal position of the shutdown switch is a low lower side of the switch because if you put on the upper side of that switch, so the engine will automatically shut down or emergency shutdown, what we call. Now I join it back, the purple wire, 918, and then the other wire, I keep it uh, open, okay? So we will see if still, or uh, what I mean, if the shutdown was happened before is, is now showing on the computer. Yeah, we are here now. I'm going to delete, double click, and yes. Uh -huh. and we will see the error code as we can see this is the status plug meaning it's plugging okay remote shutdown so you cannot start the engine if this error is still inactivated okay so you should have to uh, switch off this remote shutdown and injection they automatically disabled the no speed engine is normally it's showing always when the engine is on or uh, the power is on but the engine is not running this is always showing okay now I'm going to remove the wire where I'm joining it and then uh, I was cut it before and then I try to join just to inform anyone that is happened in this situation okay just a seconds so I'm here it again on the ACM side so I'm going to disconnect the wire if you can see the wire is uh, jointed so I'm going to disconnect it oh now it's already disconnected so what I do I'm going back to the computer okay actually that is a three wire one ground black color and one white it is uh, you normally using in this shutdown uh, okay repress <sighs> or switch off sorry i need to switch off to keep the shutdown warning will be uh, disabled yeah here is a uh, additional information when this shutdown is showing on the monitor or uh, the engine is not running you can try at first on and off the uh, emergency switch 
on off and then switch off the battery and check wait a few seconds maybe 10 to 15 seconds and then switch on again the battery and then try to switch on the switch if this is not started still the error is showing you can also see that error here in the monitor this is the panel uh, board by pressing this button okay this is the button controlling the that monitor okay any error uh, available you can see it here okay now we are here in the system of ET so we go back to the diagnostic okay if you can see now the shutdown error it's already gone and the engine can uh, possibly start it now see but there is one more thing uh, example I will try to put it back or short that wire in upload automatically shut down you know what happened there is a short circuit it's happened somewhere so the only way we can do we can uh, disable this uh, emergency shutdown by do and cutting remove permanently while the engine is shut down through that uh, switch or a uh, uh, shut ground shutdown okay or a emergency shutdown that shows here in the diagnostic so what to do you cannot remove that unless you're switching off the power so you can see switch off the power wait wait for a few seconds to keep the ECM will switch off uh, and discharge little the power that is standing by power inside the ECM so if you, you didn't do that so the shutdown will not be removed the shutdown warning will not be removed the engine is still in shutdown situation so in injector will be disabled so you cannot start it that's it i hope uh, actually this machine is 966h shovel caterpillar so i will show also here the diagram of the emergency switch just for everyone uh, knowledge and understand why i cut the two wire on the ECM okay okay if you can see there's no error showing on the uh, what you call uh, on the status plug there's no error and the engine is running okay that's it thank you for watching Caterpillar John Hank at your service bye bye